It was almost three months ago that residents started to take notice of this animal. The goose made its home pretty close to the Chaplin Street Bridge and has been very sociable, even trying to follow a few people home from the park. Animal experts say it's an odd situation. Ordinarily, there'd be a, like a few geese. Uh, it, it's not often that one goose would stay by itself. The goose has gained popularity among residents with many feeding and even naming this animal. Name him Cole now, because he's a duck. But that still leaves the question of how the goose arrived at the creek in the first place. Maybe somebody captured the, the, the gosling when it was, you know, very young and, and, and they actually you know, took it home and you know, ordinarily they won't survive, but maybe this one did and they made a pet out of it. Now they decide they don't want it, so they turn it back out again. Explanations aside, having the goose in our city over the summer has been a great experience as most park users have gotten pretty used to seeing the little guy around. But as the thermometer starts to drop, many are starting to worry about the fate of the goose. I wouldn't worry about the goose right now as long as there's open water in the creek. Regina uh, and Saskatoon, both uh, geese stay there year-round because there's abundant open water. They, they, they will survive nicely. As of production time, we heard some good news concerning the goose. Its owners, Bob and Esther Green, who run a bed and breakfast right outside the city, have claimed their pet. Esther says they weren't too sure what happened when the goose disappeared. I guess he just decided to leave home. He, we had him since, uh, oh, just right after April. Easter. Yeah. He was at, he came from the Kyle Hatterite colony and was at Central School. And then after Easter, they brought uh, all the ducklings and, and, yeah. and goslings. And so we raised him and uh, after the flood, around the second week in July, he disappeared. The couple say they were told last month by friends that their goose was at the creek and explain why they left the animal there. Well, he was entertaining the kids. We went down thinking we'd bring him back, and then there were a bunch of children there, and the adults too, and they were all talking to him, and he was having a good time, so we just left him. The Greens decided to take the goose home Wednesday afternoon because of the cold weather that is on our doorstep. They say they'll keep the goose over the winter and then possibly return it to the creek next summer. For Southwest TV News, I'm Kara Rapke.